I remember a patient who had migraine for many years and she had it not only once a month as many women but uh, at least once a week and migraine is also a typical example of a focus related disease so when I examined the patient I found a tiny scar at the angle of her left eye from an accident as a child and from the acupuncture point of view what do we have here that's gallbladder one and if the gallbladder meridian is disturbed this causes migraine my migraine attacks involve severe pain and pressure in the area of my right eye over the top of my head down behind the back of the ear i would feel queasy sensitivity to light the need to retreat to a dark room and even vomit i had these attacks since i was a child they started when i was four years old this patient is one of my least patients this is one of my wonderful patients, and she has such an interesting story for people who have suffered with a lifelong affliction. She came to me in 2007 with a case of chronic migraine, which she had had since 1968. Severe headaches several times a month since she was a young child. What I found during my first diagnosis by testing for areas of disturbance also known as foci or blockages to healing, was a small lateral scar at the corner of her left eye. By treating this focus, we have allowed for prophylactic healing and she has been migraine free since. Isn't that correct? Or perhaps how many times a year? Perhaps once a year. I've tried a variety of things since my childhood, including acupuncture, yet with those therapies nothing had helped. The tipping point was when I suffered an episode of migraine so severe that I was unable to go to work for an entire week. That's when I needed to find a solution and I sought out Dr. Wert. We all have noticed that not all patients react the same to acupuncture and some patients even say acupuncture does not help me why is that was that a bad day of the doctor or is it the patient not believing in it no it's nothing of that it is if someone has a strong focus then this focus is an obstacle for diagnosis and for treatment with an ampoule containing the local pain anesthetic Ultracane as a stimulus, I start by testing for strong disturbances known as oscillations. What I'm doing is feeling the patient's pulse to detect vascular autonomic signals or instability in reflex behavior. I first hold the stimulus over the in-tongue point. Here the patient shows no neurological reflex. Next, is there any resonance between the stimulus and the patient's right forehead? Nine. No, and finally, is there any pulse change when the stimulus is over the left forehead, which includes the area of her scar? Yeah. Yes. If you are on a disturbed acupuncture point, then uh, the pulse becomes stronger. And it's the impact of the pulse wave on your palpating finger that gets stronger. And this is the most important, this everyone who wants to practice acupuncture has to learn because it is so easy and so helpful and you can do so many things as we see later. What we will do next in order to eliminate the oscillation and also unblock the focus resulting from the scar is to place a permanent needle, specifically a bioresorbable implant acupuncture needle. The tiny needle, barely visible, sits at the tip of a convenient applicator housing. We disinfect the earlobe. 
desinfizieren das Ohr. And then we detect the point on her earlobe corresponding to the location of her scar at which we feel the greatest pulse increase resulting from the resonance between the needle and this focus. We can even use a method of taking the pulse response or information directly from the scar and comparing these waves of resonance to the respective point on her earlobe. Using the patient's pulse in this way, we can be absolutely certain that we have found the exact point for the needle. Jetzt bitte einatmen, genau. Please take a deep breath. Exactly, the patient has already taken a deep breath to ease the prick. And now the needle is inserted and will stay implanted for about 12 to 18 months until it naturally dissolves. Bis sie sich aufgelöst hat. The implant may bleed briefly. Blutet eventuell noch einen kleinen Moment nach, aber das ist bald vorbei. But this is normal and will subside in a short moment. Wir nehmen wiederum Now we once again take the ultracane ample and pass over the forehead. There is no increase in the pulse signal. Der Puls verstärkt sich nicht. Gehen über die Narbe. We test over the scar. The pulse now remains calm. Und wir finden noch eine and when scanning the scar focus at the earlobe, we now only detect the waning response to the small acupuncture wound.